by the fans. He was the most benevolent fan selection. He is a sentimental favorite among many. He has toyed with the idea this would be his last rodeo, his last dance, if you will. You know, if he keeps going on at this, if he wins, he's got an invite to next year's tournament. I don't know if it's really smart to hang it up if you're, if you're hitting the prime of your career at this point. No, I mean, if you have that invite, it is not in your best interest to disappoint Most Honorable Chairman Naga. Praise be unto him. May he live another yes. thousand years. May he live 10,000 years, in fact. Maybe even 100,000 years. Oh, let's not get carried away here, Cal. <laughs> well, you know how he has those Naga pots. I'm just saying. Oh, uh, don't don't point those at me. I, I'm no, sorry no, I, 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 back on the ring, guys. Back on the ring. You can yes. see our, arm, our armed guards, as you can see in that corner right there, are pointing at the fighters. Make sure the fight stays active and stays in the ring. Mm -hmm. We haven't had that any sort of issue, so uh, very, very thankful for that. Praise Naga that that did not, has not happened yet. Praise be unto him. Yes, and of they're course. They're just uh, throwing those heavy hands right they now. They really are. A little feeling out. A little, ooh, nice kick there by Fans. And Prancer, of course, known more for his submissions, his wrestling, his ground and or pound. Roger Ma is just known to slug it out, jumping I mean, around, a lot of movement, much like a kangaroo, because he is Pat Kangaroo. He's got some kangaroo DNA somewhere in his body. He's been... Did, did he ever fight in the Jungle Fight League? Um, I don't know. I know that there's a, a good a good buddy, Dan Tootin, of course, uh... I know he fought in a King of the Jungle sort of uh, oh, competition yes, where he yes. fought King various, I various fought animals. Rival, I fought in the rival Jungle Fight League. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, that was, I mean, Darren and I, we laugh about it now, but back then... We oh, you yeah, hated each other, of course. It was very uh, very rival, uh, very uh, very fierce. Uh, each one wanted to be known as the, the top of the... Uh, Beating up animals leagues, basically, oh, yes, and I, yes, I, you know, I, but to, to answer your question, I don't think Roger Mars would have actually competed in it because which side would he have represented, humans or kangaroos or marsupials? You know, I don't think he's. Oh, oh no, what the Brad Hawk? Well, I think humans are beating hybrids right now. Oh. Curtis Prancer dropping Roger Mars. Oh my goodness, with that grappling right now. Oh, Come there's on, still Curtis, life. You can do it. There's still life in those old legs, in those old fists. I know I'm supposed to be unbiased, but uh, it's kind of hard when you have such a sentimental story like Curtis Prancer. Of course, of course it is. And they can say he's we's uh, adorned the uh, the, uh, the 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 logos of the Cheerio headbutt camp. Oh my goodness, he's got a. Oh, well, I think he just had a good position of the north-south, opted not to strike, and I think he made a mistake right there. Should Cal. not have gone to mound he with those long legs. Oh, oh nice where that stop, stop, but perhaps like And back down! Just it's hurt. very dangerous when your opponent can stomp like that, trying to get up that foot can land in some very erogenous zones. Yes, indeed, and he's got the natural spring in those stomps due to his kangaroo DNA. Due to, in fact, being Pat Kangaroo, over. yes. Uh. Four minutes left to go in the first round. Ten minutes followed by five. The marathon followed by the sprint. Oh, and yes. Prancer is just grinding away this victory. Oh, well, hopefully a victory for his sake. He's grinding away, just staying busy, doing everything to leave no doubt in the judges' minds if he needs to. He is known for going to decision. He did, in fact, win by a decision in the opening round. He's not above doing it a second time. Good exchange of punches. Again, Masley, no the southpaw. No and he's very smart when going for those decisions. He's got quite a big endurance streak. And he knows that most of the other fighters, they're going to go for the sprint. They're not, or they're going to blow it all in the marathon and save nothing for the sprint. He likes to wear people down and just grind it out. No doubt on that. I mean, in those last five minutes, that's where the fights are really won, if they get to that point. Well, that's the thing you say. So many of these fights do not even make it to that second round of five minutes. It's there just kind of as an insurance policy. Mm -hmm. It's just to ensure that there's a winner, you know. Ten minutes is such a lot, especially when you're used to seeing, like, a five-minute round. You don't really see ten-minute rounds anywhere other than here in Japan, here in Kumite. It's such a more difficult fight to have. And you oh, can yes. see how just fatigue sets in so much quicker. That lactic acid, that milky white substance just starts building up inside your body. What, wait, and then it needs to be released. About, at, what are you talking about? Lactic acid. I've never heard no, that term. Before. Um, should I just stick with milky white substance? Well, I'm, oh, 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 like that. Mars strikes 
with a big, oh, he's trying to finish it with the knees. Oh, 35 seconds left to go for Prancer to try to scramble. He scrambles back to a position. Oh, Prancer's, he's got a, oh, what a reversal And it immediately there. goes to the ground and he's able to sleep himself back into a guard position with seconds to go in the round. I think we're going to be seeing a second round. Oh, we certainly are. And, but I think that the end of that, the flight started to turn in the direction of Roger Mars. But you look at Roger Mars right now, he's really sucking that wind. He is tired. He is tired. And I know Curtis has probably heard it. But I don't think he's dazed at all. I think he's still got that endurance and that blood is flowing and that um, acid acid that you were talking about. I don't think Lactic acid. Yes, yes, I don't think he has any of that. I, I think you you do. No, in, no, no. In general, like physically, I you, I, you, I, I I have to disagree with you, Maddie. Matt, you know I don't uh, like to do that, but I have to disagree. Fair, fair enough. Oh, I mean, this has just been a brutal fight. Heavy hands, knockdown after knockdown. Oh, I pity both of these men waking up tomorrow morning and the lovely Nagabots. Yes, the Nagabat is out again to signify that it is, in fact, the second round. Ready to begin five minutes, and there's a giant cut on the eye, the right eye of Curtis France that's going to affect his vision. Nice uh, mouse over Roger Mars's eye as well. Or a mouse, a kangaroo with a mouse, there you go. <laughs> sounds, like a children's, sounds like a children's book. Maybe you can give one of them a cookie. Uh, I, think a, I think what Roger Mars would prefer is a win tonight, and he can have all the cookies he wants tomorrow. Oh, nice kick, but block. Curtis Matters saw it coming amazing, especially out of that right eye, which you got to wonder if the vision is stunted mm -hmm. or any sort of uh, but blockage. I, I don't like Curtis's risk-taking here. You notice he went for the Superman punch. I he believe did. that's around the third time he's gone for that this match. He needs to be sticking with bread and butter. Well, Both I mean, of those combinations aim for the ball. Oh, 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 head kick. Well, that's something we don't usually see at a Curtis Prance of a head kick. But he's got those challenges. He's just away. And this could be it. But take could be set again. It's a war of attrition this late in the fight. Oh, my goodness. Can Roger Maz continue to work hard to try to no steal this go one? Go you can see how tired they both are. Prancer just taking a breath, using his body weight to just press onto Mars, keep the two of them from... I think they both kind of almost just both needed a breath at the exact same time. That's why the action just kind of stopped for a split second. And Mars back on the... Oh, he's got the mount. This is not good for Prancer, but he's so accomplished on the ground. We expect it, you know... Again, you know, you say you don't want to take risks, but I mean, if you're thinking this is your last run, you figure, why not go out swinging? And I think Curtis Prance has been putting on quite the show. Win or lose tonight. Yes, indeed. Honestly, I don't think either of these men are losers here tonight. I think we've got two men who have fought their heart out, and I hope this isn't the last we see of Curtis Prancer. Well, I think, if nothing else, even if he lost tonight, even if this was a loss for Curtis Prancer, you got to imagine there's got to be a little bit of soul searching. He's not made anything official. He, he has stated that he's, his intention was to make this his last rodeo. If he wins, though, oh, just missing the head kick, Mars. I think that's the danger of going with a double leg. And we are less than a minute to go. 45 seconds left to go in the entire fight. And you can see, oh, Prancer going for a takedown, and he falls right into the mount of Roger Maz, who will be content to ride this out and just pound his way, see if he can steal it. Oh, he's in a bad way, 15 seconds to go, and Prancer able to work himself back into the guard. This is a very good He's maintained reversal. control for the final seconds of this fight. And that's going to be the end of it. And with a leg kind of cramping, kind of hanging there weirdly in the air, this fight will go to the judges' scorecards. We will see what they will say. Of course, our judges at the ringside, Mitsubishi Gallant, Nissan Altima, and Saab. And that was one of the biggest strikes of the fight, that big right kick. And Maz fell. Oh, he caught him on the way down. I don't think we even saw that when it happened. Oh, no, not at all. And that could have very well been the end of the fight. It, it speaks to the, the, the toughness of Roger Maz. I don't know if he's put more man than Kangaroo or vice versa. But nonetheless, and here we go, the judges. And Galant says Prancer 
Atama says Prancer, and Saab makes it a popular oh. choice. Curtis Prancer! Look at those cuts! Look at the face! Look at the tooth loss! But that is the face of a champion.